Okay guys, so quick little video here. I realized as I was looking at, um, I had a question and then I realized as some um, of the notes came up that not, this was not self-explanatory just through the notes, through the PowerPoint. So um, watch the video and you will be able to know all here, right? All right, so the first thing that we just wanna point out is they have defined food chain and food web. And both of those can be found on your PowerPoint. So a food chain is a model that shows how energy flows in an ecosystem. And basically we're talking about where does the energy originate, right? So we know that in all ecosystems, in all food chains, in all food webs, the energy originates from the energy from the sun, right? So it all is going to start here with the sun. And then it's going to move up the food chain, all right? And a food web is very similar. All it shows is how food chains are interconnected to each other. Okay, so if we're moving up here and what they're doing is they're showing you, they're calling them trophic levels and they're basically energy levels. So we're going to start by talking about what is the first energy level here and that's the primary energy level and those are producers. So in this first box here, we're going to write primary producers, okay? Primary producers. And those are always going to be plants, plants of any kind. Plants um, are the, the only things that can make their own food using energy from the sun. So those are the things that fall in producer category. Any kind of plants that make their own food would fall in that category, okay? So the second trophic level is going to be um, things like herbivores, And herbivores are things that eat plants for their food. Um, and we can also call them primary consumers. So these are all words that showed up on the other notes page that you did that you would have already defined um, in your notebook on that other page, and this is just how they're classified here. If we keep moving up to the third trophic level, um, then we have things like carnivores. So things that eat meat things that eat meat, um, and they're called secondary consumers here, okay? And things that would eat maybe a caterpillar or things like that, those are gonna fit in that category, okay? And then the last fourth trophic level are going to be the top carnivores. So those are going to be the guys that, um, that only eat meat um, at the very top of the food chain. And they're also called tertiary. And tertiary is a word that means third. And you'll see where the third comes from and the fact that they're third up in line from, of the food chain here, okay? And so this owl is something like a tertiary consumer. All right, now on this side, um, they're just defining a couple of those words here, and they're going to talk about something like this bear. This bear is what we might call an omnivore, an omnivore. And you know from the other page that you did that an omnivore eats plants and animals. Humans are omnivores, right? We eat plants and animals, okay? And then the last thing in this food web that we wanna make sure we define here are these, um, this last one here, which is, um, which would be um, decomposers. And decomposers eat um, dead plant and animal material. They break it apart for us. 
okay? All right, so hopefully that helps you be able to answer these questions and fill in this chart. Hope you're doing great. Talk to you later. Bye.